Hi everyone. I want to start today's class by showing a video on preparing nitrogen dioxide. This is a highly toxic gas, um, but the gas itself is in equilibrium with another gas called nitrogen tetroxide. Um, you're not going to see the actual equilibrium between those two gases, but you are going to see me create nitrogen dioxide, NO2. So in order to create that particular toxic gas, um, I'm going to use nitric acid, H2NO3. H2NO3 is fairly strong. Okay? We usually keep it separate from all the other acids. So I'm going to pour a little bit of acid into this Erlenmeyer flask. Behind the Erlenmeyer flask, there's a white cardboard box. Um, it's just meant so that you can see the gas a little bit more clearly. Now, this particular reaction works with copper metal. So I have a ball of uh, copper foil. Um, it's very soft, it's malleable. Okay, I'm just gonna roll it up into a ball and drop it into the nitric acid. And we will see a spontaneous reaction right away. So that brown gas is nitrogen dioxide, NO2. Uh, so just like with most gases that are colored, you probably want to avoid this. So that's why it's being created in the fume wood. Um, right now you see the gas leaving the Erlenmeyer flask because a lot of it is being made. I'm going to put a stopper on it just to close the system. Um, you can kind of see right now that the bottom is green, indicating that there is a bunch of copper ions. Eventually those copper one ions will turn into copper two ions and, and turn blue. Um, but we won't be able to see this in this particular video. Um, right now, it's in static equilibrium. Okay? There's no more gas being formed, so the gas that's inside stays inside. And because this gas is much more dense in air, it doesn't actually escape unless I pour it out like this. Okay, So I'm going to put the cap back on we're going to look at this particular gas and the equilibrium that it uh, forms 